morning guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode and uh, thanks each for watching. Um, it is quarter past six in the morning right now and uh, I'm a little bit tired still because uh, I woke up super early. This is like, I don't know, quarter past five in Japan right now. There's only an hour difference for, uh, from Japan what I'm used to. Anyways, um, I'm heading to the workshop now. I'm gonna get the dip out of this car so I can drop it off to my buddy Clint uh, from Hearts Transmissions. And uh, hopefully today or tomorrow, he'll be able to put the Tomei LSD in for me, which will be mint. Um, at the same time today, I'll be working on all those engines, pulling heads off and stripping them in, all that jazz, getting those all ready. Hopefully I can get that done with the only in half a day today. So then I'll have time to go pick up some more. And then tomorrow I'll be doing another big long drive out to like Maryborough to pick up a couple more. So it's just full on, full on, full on, full on. Um, maybe I'll have some time to get some other stuff done on the R34 today as well. I want to change my steering wheel out for a, a factory Momo one. Um, so we'll see how we go. But otherwise guys, let's get to it and uh, get to the workshop and um, get started, shall we? We've got a mammoth of a day to do today. So I'm pretty pumped. So as I was uh, putting the 34 up on the hoist, I noticed that uh, it deposited all of this and then I went out and checked the car park and there was a nice coolant puddle too. It looks like I've got a nice little coolant leak up in here that I'll have to investigate and work out where that's coming from. It wasn't leaking yesterday, so need to work that out. Pretty lucky you found that now. So I'm draining the diff oil right now and um, pulled the plug out and you can see a few metal shards there. But uh, no big ones or anything. This is kind of actually normally what you see on the diff plug magnet, honestly. So we may be okay. The, the crown wheel and pinion may not be damaged at all, which uh, if that is, then that's awesome. And I got a spare set for the drift car, which would be sick. So the diff is now out, um, 
got it done pretty quick, which was awesome. Um, and within the hour, we'll be taking it and dropping it off at um, Clint's work for him to uh, put that Tomei LSD in for us. I am currently gonna just strip the head off this JZ that um, the guy practically gave it to us. Um, with these other RV30s that had been sitting in the weather for a while. The spark plugs are out and it's full of, yeah, like it doesn't look good. So I'm just gonna rip the head off. Um, the head's rubbish, it's junk as you can see. All the lifters are all just rusted in there. So we're gonna see if the block is salvageable or savable. Um, otherwise it'll just go straight to the scrap heat. It's kind of sad because it's a 1J, um, but fingers crossed the block will be savable. So I'm gonna strip the head off now and uh, we'll check that out, see what it's like. And this is exactly why you don't leave a motor out in the weather when you don't have spark plugs in it. It's disgusting. Anyways, um, I'm gonna clean this up. Um, it's gonna have to be used specifically just as a stroker block. Um, we're pretty confident the crank will be okay. So um, what we're gonna do is uh, I'll clean this out with the pressure cleaner and then uh, we'll dry it out, wrap it up, and at some point, if we want to build a stroker 1J, we'll uh, get the stroker uh, bored out and um, sleeved up, and it should be okay. We'll have to inspect other things as well and just make sure there's no other issues with it, but otherwise, it's pretty much gonna be put on the side and used as a stroker block whenever we need it. Really sad that this had to happen to a 1J though. Head, I'm just gonna scrap the head entirely. I don't think it's worth saving at all. All right, so right now I've got this RV30 draining oil before I take the auto trans off it and everything. Um, I am hoping to go through this one, that one, and those two today, actually these three here, get all those ready before I head out and pick up a couple more this afternoon or tonight. Otherwise, I just wanted to show you guys uh, this JZ that I've finished cleaning up. As you can see, the bores are super corroded. Um, that milky substance in there, um, it's a little bit of water unfortunately mixed in with some inox which is just like CRC or it's like anti-seize kind of grease that you spray in there to um, try and I guess penetrate all through the rust and everything. So hopefully uh, we'll be able to get those pistons out and then um, yeah rebore and sleeve. So another two RV30s are done. Mikey stripped that one down. I've finished that one up. Um, I'm gonna start on this one. And uh, hopefully once we can get the forklift in here, we'll move this pallet out and get these other two stripped out. Uh, otherwise, that's that pretty much for today. Later tonight, we're gonna be doing clutch and timing service and a whole bunch of other stuff on semis ute. So that'll be good.
These four are all been washed and cleaned, as well as another one that's tucked up under that fuel tank there. Um, still got to do one, two, three, four, five. One needs to be stripped and everything. Um, Caleb's 180. This is Yoshio factory here. Um, he's finished with his now. He's finished doing his Predator kind of setup. The two Mishimoto um, intercooler and rad with the two fans. And um, he just got his cover painted. This is actually, if you're looking at this cover and you know SRs, you probably think it's a bit strange because it's actually got the uh, S14, S15 rear, but then the S13 front without the VCT section here. It's because uh, Caleb did a cut and shut. He got a S14, S15 um, cover and then cut along here, along here, and then um, pretty much welded his uh, S13 one on and then uh, all painted and cleaned up as well as some really nice um, yellow jacket um, coil packs with a Yoshio factory um, coil pack loom, which is running really nice now. He just took it out for a quick test and it did quite well. The spill time has like been pretty much cut down to half as what it used to be with the front mount all the way down here. So that's really good. Uh, Semi's gearbox is out, Kira's helping with that. And he's just getting the throw out bearing off the gearbox for the new clutch that's going up. We just took off the dual mass flywheel, which was munted. <laughs> and putting a nice big solid one on. Mikey's working on his 180 over here, doing some rewiring. Some soldering and all this jazz. Are you moving your fuse box? No, I'm moving my igniter just to get away from there. Oh, get away from all the yeah. extreme exhaust fumes? Sweet as. This is Kira's S13. She's going to be out drifting Friday as well. This is her uh, more light for Friday night solution <laughs> for Friday night drifts, which will be mint. She's just got a little NA SR20 in there. Does well. Anyways, it's a nice little beater. But yeah, otherwise we're like pretty flat out busy right now. So I'm going to put the camera down and help Sam because we've got to lift this gearbox up in. Um, but yes. Finally heading home. Car's done. Sammy's so happy. <laughs> it's midnight. It's past midnight right now. We're heading home. So. <laughs> Anyways, uh, tomorrow's going to be a really intense day. Driving all the way to Maribyrnong to get two RV30s. Otherwise, guys, I'll catch you then. Jamatane.